That means like two thirds of my life has been this game. Yeah, dude. Two I want to say, I'm, yeah, dude. About the same for me, dude. Two thirds, well, a little bit Just, less. I'm, I'm on the older side of the Smash community. You know what you though? You know, like, but the thing about UFC is you, you may be on the older side, but you don't look on the older side. That's, that's the blessing that's you want. Dude. That, that is true. That's my my Greek skin. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand, Vance. Me, Danny, are old men. <laughs> But I'm, what I was really trying to say is, like, you know, I'm on the oldest side of Smash Me. I've been playing this since, like, yeah. day one. Um, so it's been uh, two-thirds of my life. What about the rest of the community who are, like, younger than me? That's a yeah. bigger percentage of their life. Yeah, that's pr pretty true. And for Nico, you know, a good percentage of his life was made in Shulk, you know, being the best Shulk main out there. And now, you know, Nico put in his 9 to 5 every day with Shulk. And okay. okay, so I know you're a big fan of Shulk. Yeah. Are you gonna be broken? Are you gonna be heartbroken when Joker comes out and he drops Shulk like, no, a, no, no, like no. a bad egg? I, 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 me and Nico, egg. me and Nico have spent a great amount of right time. Right in the trash. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'll be sad. <laughs> I'll be sad, but me and Nico have spent a great amount of time talking about Persona, uh -huh. so I know he's a pretty big fan. Shout out to TLTC for making him play the game. <laughs> but let's go into Nitro. I'm also a fan of Nitro. Nitro pretty good, uh, homie. I'm not gonna lie. We, I talked with Nitro a couple times, and I know he loves how Record plays. That's right. I mean. I think ever since the first time I saw Nitro play um, Smash Ultimate, it was already Richter. It, was, yeah. it wasn't, it was I'm going to try and dual main. It was like, no, man. Richter is the truth. I'm telling people to take this and that. Yeah. Take some holy fire. Purify yourself. Take this. We're kind of seeing how the traditional Belmont plan goes, right? Lead in with holy water, get a confirm, push him off the stage. Uh, one thing to note that Nico knows is that he's also used Wicker before. We've seen this. We That's actually right. saw this over at SoCal Chronicles. They didn't play out too well for him. But playing the character himself gives him a little bit of knowledge. He knows how the character works. Gets him off the stage here, and he reads that. And he took the jump there, and... Okay, sorry, he didn't take the jump there. I didn't get back on the stage. Okay. okay, that's another fair with Smash Mode online for Joker. Is Nico going to be able to just land any hit that will take the stock forward air? Oh. Not enough. Down tilt pretty good, but unfortunately has a little bit of startup. You have to be careful. And now we see speed mode going back online. Wow, the Holy Cross clips Nico. I like that. Dude. Just throwing out a nair. All that multi-hit will actually eat up a lot of a meter of the smash mode. Oh, I like it. Able to go back all the way to stage the other side there with a great space back air. Now to have Nitro with the first stock. Nico takes a little bit of time to get some patience there, all right? I mean, it's good to really just take a second for yourself and just reset. I mean, you're in no danger because you're still yeah. on that visibility platform. And then you can actually come up with a game plan within those one to two seconds. Mm -hmm. and even right there, he knew that he knew that Nitro was going to be throwing out the forward airs and the holy wires and the crosses. He just weaved around it, landed a forward air, evened up stocks. Yeah. And a player's mental game and mentality, honestly, is has to do a lot of the game, especially off the game. And Nico knows, like, hey, I'm not on the stage right now. I have this angel problem. Give me a second, like I said, formulate a battle plan, and then come back. So far, that battle plan seems to do a lot of winners because the is now back on Nico's side. Now, one, one uh, addition that I'm seeing from the the uh, Belmont low chart is whenever people start approaching with these aerials, we're seeing a lot more upbeats yeah. to, to count as an anti-air. Oh, I like that. That was actually a oh. great move from both players. Nitro knew that Nico was going to try and approach. So instead of trying to get the tether, he threw out the Holy Cross. Nico still able to stuff the Holy Cross and then follow up for a kill. All right, down throw. One thing that I wanted to note there is Nitro dipped my If he just dipped a little bit lower there, the angle that he would have gotten the tether from the forward air would have been much better than the first time when he got. That's how Nico was up attaching. Nair is so big. Yeah, dude, and it's really tough for Ricker too, especially any of the Belmonts to deal with that. I like it. Reads the jump option, and he's got Nitro in a bit of a pickle here at the corner, but he gets back with that down tilt. Of course, you have to use down tilt twice to get both go hits on the slide. Okay, re grab coming out from Nico. Now Smash Mode is online. The I want to end the game mode. <laughs> That's a re-grab. Oh, but he was able to weave around it. Smart stuff from Nitro. Delaying his recovery. Yeah. He wanted the patience there. I mean, he had to have the patience, not want the patience, because he knew if I come out too hot, Nico will catch me here, and that was my opportunity for a comeback, if any. Okay, big forward air coming out 
Amico retaking the stage control. Oh no, he went for up air, but at that situation though, I felt like he was a little too old for up air to connect. You have to be careful. Up air does tether if you are from below the stage. Sometimes it is a much better option than going for up B, but at that situation, I felt that Nitro want to go for forward air. You also want to be careful for forward air on certain stages because if you, if, like for example, you see um, Yoshi's, uh, Yoshi's Island Brawl, if you forward air at certain parts of stage, your whip will hit the wall and you won't get the tether. So you have to be careful. You actually kind of have to angle the. the I mean, the I think like just the position that he was in, the way that Nico dropped down. Yeah. Uh, Nitro not having a second jump and being that position, it was over. Yeah, it was over. I like it. Goes for the usual, the usual holy water win the neutral from the platform there. It's kind of a classic Belmont start there. If you're on a platform, just go for a little take this. Yeah. Hope for the best at that point, especially in the neutral at the starting stage. I mean, you're just such a giving man. You're just trying to give everything to your opponent. But the kitchen sink. Everything but the kitchen sink, that's right. <laughs> everything must go. And now we see what we've been seeing for quite a bit uh, in this set. Nitro getting stuck on these ledges and um, the oh. approach <laughs> and the edge guarding from Nico. Dang, my man is saucy out here. Just went for the down air. And the late hit, not even the strong hit, actually is what killed Nitro. I know, it was like the weak hit, but Smash Mode uh, really showing its strength. Sending uh, Nitro to the side. Wow. But the game plan is still the same for Nitro. Yeah. Take it, this. It, it kind of has to remain the same, you know, because what, you know how strong it is. The minion gets holy water to the forward smash at certain percents. It'll definitely do a lot of damage. You can even kill at the last percent as well. That's right. We've seen so many stocks get deleted uh, from holy fire to, to S smash. Yeah. But that's usually when it's a ledge trap situation. We don't really see right there. Nico in the... Ooh, okay. yeah. I wanted to say, yeah, like you said yourself, man. <laughs> Commentators curse a bit there. Uh, ledge trap situation for Nico, and the shield was getting smaller with the damage he was taking from the Holy Water, the damage that he got from the cross. That forward smash, Nico had to jump out, and Nitro called out at the right moment. That's right. The smash mode is back. You know, these down tilts with that F tilt, pretty much... Anyway, that Nico's trying to swing his sword, he's trying to take that second stock. Nico back at fourth throw, edge guard face for Nico, trying to read what Nitro's gonna do. It's hard to tell what how uh, Nitro is trying to recover, especially because he can delay his uh, oh. his recovery and the tether. Yeah. Yeah, I actually like the the cross up. The store hop into Nair. Because yeah. he's been doing it quite a bit. And last time uh last time he did cross up Nair, he act or I'm sorry, last time he did a cross up, um he just did a tomahawk. Oh, oh my god, that hit from the upper, that was pretty ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. It looked like it to be the starting hit from the upper. Okay, the second hit of down tilt. Oh, Holy Cross into the max. That's a good amount of damage. Oh, you got him off the stage there. Nitro able to make the recovery from the back upbeat. Take this. Okay, picking up that Holy Water again. Holy Water in hand. Oh, that is he dropped too. I think, and I would probably look at the Z drop. He just, oh, they, oh, so close. Shield Art, though, is still on active. And the get off me move of up B. Nitro still in this game. Oh, that's, oh that's, that's, no. that's not gonna be it. Yeah, he oh. still had it. You think that the second hit of Air Slash didn't, didn't actually connect? He got picked up. Okay, Nico kind of playing a little patient there. I like how he's kind of playing a little aggressive as well, though. 175, still living, even catching the holy water. Oh, oh no! Okay. Unfortunate for Nitro. He down aired past the ledge. Yeah, he was just an inch off. Sweet spot on the ledge, unfortunately. Nico doing great pressure. One thing to notice how the matchup turned around for Nico, well, not really turned around how I was playing for Nico, is uh -huh. he was able to shield the holy water, really able to grab it, stopping Roger from coming in. It's also important to know if you actually dash attack at certain options uh -huh. or at certain points of the game when you know they're going to go for holy water, you can catch it right as they throw it. So that's a counterplay to holy water. They're just able to dash attack and still catch the holy water as well. Having a healthy shield that bounces the holy water away from you. You can also try to catch it as well. Nitro finally making that character change. This is kind of what I wanted to see too. I, I understand how where the Richter was coming from, but I felt that Sonic might have been the better pick, of course, because 
horrible recovery isn't going to be like what you want. That's true, but at the same time, you know that Sonic can get spaced out by the huge sword that is the Monado. Yeah, man. The, the Monado blade. blade. The Monado sword is honestly a power sword. I don't know, one of the cool top 10 looking swords of all time. There's good bread and butters. Nair to double forward air. Okay, Smash Art seems blood in the water there. Tries to call it, but nothing's gonna happen yet. Back air will do it. We go, edge guard phase. I like it. Tries to come up up B so he can get the stage. Yeah, but Nitro very wise to it, using the wall jump to stall out the recovery. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Yeah. Big ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Big oof almost. Damn, wow. Nitro able to bring up the percent. Uh, wow, big backslash. It's a huge hurt box. This stage was pretty good wonders for Nitro, I'm not gonna lie. And this character switch too as well. Much closer than it was a couple few games, especially in terms of neutral. I mean, we, we are seeing Nitro uh, being forced to approach mm -hmm. and having to deal with the with Nico throwing out big hit boxes, but um, he seems to be weaving around it. Seems to be working out for him. Back throw. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Smash hard. Uh oh. Smash mode. Yeah, that's definitely the stop you in your tracks mode. It's good thing <laughs> that it's the color red. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, great tech immediately from the down throw. That was smart stuff from Nico. He knew that was going to be a re-grab, getting a little bit of damage. But jump mode can allow him to make it back with no sweat. I like it. Immediately after he doesn't get the forward air, he goes for a jab. Kind of a good way to cover up the, the forward air. Especially if he goes back. Oh, forward air yet again. Right, good punish on the homing attack. And now the assault continues. Homing attack does connect for a Nitro. But he just keeps throwing himself off the stage. He's having a tough time, and it's the pressure that Nico's able to do with Shulk, right? Like, switching to Smash R, he kind of has, like, it's a tough time for Nitro because now that Smash is active, or was active, like, if he just gets hit off the stage twice, he's gone. But finally, Nitro able to breathe with a sigh of relief, taking the stock. What was that? I, I, he got hit with spin attack and flew straight up. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty surprised that was spin attack myself. Yeah, dash attack coming out from Nico. This is the thing that I've seen Nitro fail at, is when he comes back to the stage, he tries to come back to the same spot. Sometimes you want to reset yourself towards the ledge. Even though Nico definitely tried to catch that, it's better than to just try to come back and then get hit by another up tilt. Well, Nitro was able to uh, survive the assault of forward airs, back airs, even in smash mode, getting hit uh, off the side of the stage. But that had a, that did a ton of damage. You yeah. can just see the percent difference between these two players now. Mm -hmm. I mean, he may not have taken the stock, but he put Nico put himself in a great position. Yeah. I mean, even these trades are just working in Nico's favor. Jump. Trying to jump hard, Nico. Speed. We've seen uh, Nitro actually stall out with those uh, spin attacks into. Directional air dodge back to the top. Continuing wave land. Oh, oh he saw it, but he was not able to hit it. Just stall out that smash mode. Uh, good play, I'm not gonna lie. If you see it, man, you, that's, that's your best play. Stall it out. Wow, Especially he was able to stall off the side of the stage for the full amount of time to get his invincibility back. Yeah. Not only that, you also want to stall shield art as well. Nigel kind of knows, like, hey, my best, my best chance against the Minados, stall them out. And of course, the recharge time for each of them is a little bit different. They're not, they do not all have the same recharge time. Well, big recovery coming from Nitro as he throws out a back air. That smash mode, pretty much oh, all but gone. Okay, there's a forward air. Nitro finally gets the edge guard himself. Able to get Nico off a hit there. Oh, no. Yeah, that reverse forward air. Getting the back hit. But an an what an answer. Just the wind up punch. It's more like a hit no punch, man. It really spins you and knocks you out. Okay, Buster mode. We haven't really seen Nico utilize Buster mode. Yeah, I feel like I was gonna use the majority of the time that I see him using, he typically gets the short end of the deal. Um, yeah. But he was able to make great use of it that time, adding 60% onto Nitro. Yeah. It's, keeping the stock. It's a great pressure tool, too. It does damage towards the shield as well. 
So Buster R is going to go. Oh, there it is. The classic Nico special you all know and love.